I hear me because these people of death is very serious. You will see the after the sun, you need to pray. I'm seeing a name like Richard. Who is Richard? It's my junior brother. Your junior brother. I'm seeing a brother named this like this, like Dennis. It's my elder brother. Your elder brother. We need to pray for these two names. I hear me because the spirit of death has come back again. You put your hands up, bro. You put your hands. It's you in the mighty name of Jesus. How are you doing? Um, very quickly, I want to show you a secret on how to grow into accuracy in the prophetic. Father, I give you praise. I give you honor. I ask that your grace be released upon your children as they are listening to me right now. Father, release your grace upon them as they are listening to this teaching at any point at any time. Let the prophetic come upon them. Father, let the, the ability to hear your voice be activated on them. Increase on them in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you will expand them and you will speak to them more in Jesus' mighty name. Now, um, very quickly, I want to show you something in growing in accuracy. How to grow in accuracy when it comes to the prophetic. You see, um, growing in prophetic accuracy is not a product of a particular realm in the spirit. Okay, so I want to teach you this. There is no child that is born vocal. No child was born vocal and fluent in a particular language. They get to learn this language and then get used to it and know what the language is saying at a particular time or season. So now, very quickly, I want to show you something uh, in the scripture, then I will, I will tell you um, what will help you. Okay? Now, um, Psalm 29 verse 3 said, The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord break the cedars. Yea, the Lord break the cedars of Lebanon. He make them also a steep like a scarf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divide the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shake the wilderness. Of the Lord shake the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinter to carve and discover the forest and his temple. Both everyone speak of his glory. Now, what I want you to um, pick very quickly from what I just read now is this. Every time you hear the voice of the Lord, especially in context like this, is speaking about the messages of God. He so said the, the messages of God moves upon the waters. So I'm not going to mention his voice again. The messages of God break the cedars of Lebanon, the messages of God turn direct. So now, there is something you need, to, I want you to pick from this place. Every prophetic person has a particular method through which God communicates to them. If they have a particular pattern, God chooses to speak to them. You know, now, there is something I, I already told you in one of the teachings that... Um, there are two main realms in the prophetic. The realms of the spirit, seeing in the spirit, and also hearing from God directly, two major channels. So now, when it comes to the channel of God, which is the most accurate channel and doesn't fail, no matter what it is, God chooses different patterns to speak to different prophets. Different pattern. I'm not talking about the dimension. Through which he speak now i'm thinking about the pattern through which he speak for instance our lord jesus christ the pattern of his prophetic comes in form of parables that is why you hear him speaking parable most times the reason is because he sees these things in parable and when he says this parable this the people around him will say he is speaking about us without saying a word because that is how his messages come okay there are others who prophetic the, the method god chooses to speak to them could be through water just like you hear, the, he said the voice of God moves upon the waters. It could be through water. Seeing water in the realm of the spirit and a particular nature is taken and the rest is another way God communicates. It could be through natural disaster. It could be something. could be color. It could be an animal. Um, I have one of our students here who chatted me up and his own method is every time he's praying, he just see animals. You see, it's also a method God wants to use, that God wants to use to communicate to him. But somebody who is not aware that God speaks through different methods and individuals have different patterns that we want to, to mimic somebody else. And in the process, they become inaccurate. 
But what I want to let you know is that you only remain accurate and get accurate in the method God wants to use to speak to you. You cannot be accurate in another line. All right. So when I'm praying, uh, there are different methods God used to speak to me. But one of the particular methods he used very well is in this line of this parabolic kind of prophecy. For instance, I was prophesying the other time in a meeting and uh, I looked at the, the, the young man and I saw myself in the spirit crossing river. And I said, young man, why am I crossing river? And he said, I'm from river state. Are you seeing it now? So it looks more like an idiomatic expression. So there are different methods God used to speak. Some persons is just through color. Every time they pray, they see colors. Sometimes, some persons, every time they pray, they just see images. Some we just see that they are writing, they are drawing something. They are writing something. This is methods. And how do you discover your method that God wants to use in speaking to you? As somebody who is in the prophetic and want to grow in the prophetic, what you need to do is to learn, take note of at least three to five situations where what you saw in the spirit happened, manifested, and take note of the method through which you saw it before it manifested. Now, five methods in that particular line. And take note of the method and the pattern through which the message got to you. All right, you need to take note of these two things. How did it come? And in what form? How was the message communicated to you? When you can take note of five instances, at least five instances, of using the same method and getting the same result check it for another 10 instances you discover that it will be it will still be accurate all right when you discover that for five ten instances and you see that accuracy in through the same method of communication that is the method god wants to speak to you in the mouth of two or three witness the word of the lord is confirmed so i said from two five then five ten once you can be able to confirm one particular method operating 10 different instances and they are all accurate you have gotten the channel through which god wants to speak to you by that you're already moving into accuracy okay so when the voice of god when you are now praying because every time you pray different voices will be speaking to you your flesh will try to speak to you so there are different your your mind just normal mind will want to speak to you as well all right the anointed imagination we also want to speak to you so how do you detect at this moment anytime it is god speaking he is going to use that method and mind you that particular method is using to speak to you even your flesh will not be able to use it your flesh will not be able to use that same method because the same way um, the the heavens is higher than the earth so is the thought of god from our thoughts so it's very higher. So when you are receiving that message, it's going to be different. Your flesh will not be able to hinder it. But you need to understand the method it comes to you. Some persons, the method, the prophetic comes to them is through feelings. Just by feelings. All right. You just need to understand your method. You just need to understand your method. Some through smell. So there are just different patterns through which the message is communicated. So as a prophetic student or somebody that wants to grow the prophetic, this is an assignment for you. Go and note the method through which you have you have seen things or received message in the past or you will receive from now. And it happened, it manifested. Note at least five to ten of it. And then you have already discovered the method God wants to use to speak to you. All right. By the time you can be able to do that, increase will come to you. Um, God, God called somewhere out of his sleep. He woke up, went to Eli. Instead of God continuing the message after he woke up, he did it. He went back to sleep again. God called to him again. The same pattern, the same method. He stood up again and went. And Eli said, don't come again. Go back to sleep. And when he said, he said, speak to him there. And tell him, here are my Lord, speak to me. And he went back again. And God came again. The same method. I said it accurately. The same method. So you just need to understand that that method here that you have received message through before go back to that method that is the channel through which god wants to communicate with you so just work on this one there are a lot of teachings i'm going to teach you and guides i will guide you into the prophetic the lord is going to help us and god will help me to help you in the name of jesus a lot of people are prophesying already 
those who lost their prophetic grace have been restored those who have no prophetic anointing at all are now prophesying god is increasing and his glory will manifest in this current dispensation in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you that your prophetic eyes will open your ears will open you will hear god and you will speak according to the word of the lord in the mighty name of jesus and i pray that even as you go into making research and understanding yourself from this moment grace will speak for you increase will come upon you in the mighty name of jesus the lord bless you the lord lift you the lord cause his face to shine upon you in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to see you in the next teaching okay God